Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another Pixel for Life video tutorial. So just in case you did not hear, uh, Adobe released a beta version of Photoshop CS6 and there's some pretty sweet things in it and you can go ahead and download that from their labs website. I'll put a link in the description below. You just come over here, click on download Photoshop CS6 and then choose if you want it for Mac or Windows, install it. And now remember that this is a trial version, so it, while it is the full program, it has no watermarks, but uh, it will expire, I don't know how long, 30 days or something probably. But it, for now, enjoy it, get used to it, and let's just launch right in. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite new features. This is the ones that I found out. I'm sure there's a few more hidden ones that I will learn to fall in love with. And starting off, the first thing is the new UI. If you notice, it's really, really dark now. Um, I'm not, I'm not 100% liking it, but I'm sure it'll grow on me. So let's just, let's launch right into it. This first one, which is very cool, is Content Aware Move. Now, in the pre previous Photoshop's, you might have been used to Content Aware Fill, but this one's slightly different. So um, let's just grab a Polygon Lasso tool and I'm going to make a quick selection around this race car here. So let's say you made this race and you're like, oh, I thought I was much closer to these cars. I, would, I was so close to winning. Well, in reality, you're very far away. But your friends on Facebook do not have to know about that. So to change this, I'm going to make that selection around there. Come on over to here and click on Content Aware Move Tool. Click that. And then once you select here, you can move them over, let's say, right behind these cars. You were, you were much closer. And then deselect it, and boom. Around the car is a little jaggedy. I made an ugly selection, but over here, it's perfect. So let's say you, um, you don't even want that car there. He's, he's an enemy of yours. So to do this, we can go to Content, or um, Edit, Fill, and we have Content Aware Fill. Click that, deselect, and the car is gone. Beautiful feature. So when will this be useful, other than when you're losing a race? Well, let's say you have this beautiful family photo right here, but mommy no longer wants to be in the picture. So to fix this, all we have to do is make a quick selection around her, trying to stick as close to her body as possible. That's what she said. And not get a whole lot of the green in the grass, or else that can mess some things up. Then at the top, go to Edit, Fill, and then Content Aware Fill. Click all right, and boom, she's gone. Then just click Command D to deselect it. And uh, the child's hand's a little blurry, so let's fix that with a sword. Perfect. Now uh, life is all better. All right, so a couple of new features that Photoshop CS6 has is a few more blur filters. And one of the cool ones is the tilt shift. And not, if you're not fami familiar with it, you can do some Googling around, but pretty much it makes the image look very strange, kind of like a, a small car inside of a big world. It's very cool. But uh, Photoshop actually added this filter into CS6. So to do this, I'm going to come over to Filter, Blur, Tilt Shift. And here you can adjust the height of the, uh, the non-blurred area, like your safe zone or whatever by dragging around these dots and I'm holding down shift to constrain it from rotating and then you can change the blur amount by moving this radial dial here and if you don't like that you can do it on the side here by do using the numbers but let's just pick up this and do a really big blur so you guys can see it okay that's good for me and it does its magic and bam there you go very nice. Uh, one other blur effect that I really like is um, iris blur. So before when you wanted to blur out an area it was a little confusing. You have to blur the top image and then delete part of it. But Photoshop made that very easy. So you just go to filter, blur, iris blur. And it'll give you this circle right here which you can move around. And let's make a selection around the car. And again, you can adjust the size of it by clicking on these dots. And you can also adjust how round the blur is by moving that square. And then you can adjust the intensity by moving that radial right there. And let's leave it at that. 
let it do its magic, and bam, there you go. It focuses your focuses your eye right on the John Deere. And those right there are some of my favorite new features of Photoshop CS6. There's a few more things that I would like to show you, but I'll make a separate video for them because this was more of image styles and Photoshop did some sweet new things with text, made it much more enjoyable to work with it. And for you web designers that are all often repeating text styles and everything, this is going to be a lifesaver. If you're already a subscriber, then be sure to check back with us. If not, subscribe to be informed of the latest videos. And stay tuned because sweet stuff is coming soon. Take care and see you later.